Hey. Everyone, this is Argon Matrix, welcoming you episode 6 squared of Super Mario RPG. And last time, we made it to this random area with a strange little sandy whirlpool there. You know, I never got this, how, like, you can have a whirlpool in sand. Like, I, yes, I get quicksand, because, yeah, it's just, like, water and sand or whatever. But a whirlpool? I mean, really? Really a whirlpool? Alright, follow the ant. Oh, that's not an ant, that's a Shogun. I got screwed over. Well, let's just run. Wee, bye. Alright, so yeah. If you remember in the last episode, that one guy, he told us that we should, fo that we should follow the ant into the whirlpools, and he will lead us on the, on the way, right way. And I don't know how you can tell which one's an ant or not, because as far as I remember, the ant looks exactly like the Shogun when it pops out. Thank you, Peach. Who'd have thought that you'd be the one to let us run away like that? Okay. Um. Alright, no, stupid. Ah. Uh, okay. I don't know what the hell's going on. Couldn't run. Couldn't run. Come on, Peach. Yes, two times in a row. Well, let's just take a different one. Whatever. Whoa. Oh. That just took me after the start, didn't it? That was stupid. Hmm. Ah, damn it. I'm not gonna fight it like any of these guys. I'm just gonna try to run, those, run away as much as possible. Okay, what's with you, Mario? Oh, now a U2, Peach? U2, Carney Kiss? Ow. No! No. Oh, my God. This is just... No. Yeah. Couldn't run. Thank you. <laughs> Just leave Mario back in the dust. Yeah, like, who cares about that idiot Mario? Alright, uh, let's pro should probably heal him. There, there you go, Mario. Feeling better? Indeed. Okay, what the hell? How come I can't, like, find this ant? What the hell's going on? I don't know. I mean, you'd think an ant would be a thing- would be an easy thing to locate. I mean, seriously, it's an ant. Wait, what the hell's over there? What's this? Is this just, like, nothing? There's there's really nothing there? Hmm. Okay. Alright. Okay, do I just have to kill the Shogun, then? Okay. Well, I'm just gonna try that, because that seems to be the only thing I haven't done. Well, let's just kill these guys slowly and painfully because they refuse to die e easily. Oh my goodness, why do they have that attack? It's not fair. Not fair. Not fair. Alright. Um. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We fought these guys like a billion times before. Well, not really because they're new enemy to Land's End. So, how have we fought him a billion times when we've, like, never seen him before? I don't know. Now I sound like a stupid idiot. A st- a stid idiot. Which, that means, what the hell? Is it this one? I don't know. Hey there. Um, I guess you do have to just fight the Shogun. Hopefully. Well... That's what I'm going to do. You know, so let's just do an ultra jump, clear these guys out right quick. Hopefully. You better be weak to jump or something. Of course, was not weak to jump. You cannot resist the almighty jump of Mario. The great. Well, apparently that guy can. Vigor up! Uh-oh. Getting pissed off. Alright. Yeah, he just drank a protein shake right there. But before we could utilize its ul its ultimate power, and she learns mute, which basically mutes an enemy. Oh, K. 
Okay, two. Wait, what? Ten, eleven, twelve. Some, I don't know. I'm losing track of levels. Why can't he be easy like Mario? He just like starts at level one. Come on. Is that so hard? Wait, what the hell is that thing? What? What? What are you? Um. I don't remember this. Formless. What the hell? I've never seen an enemy like this. I swear. Is this like a rare encounter or something? Hold on. I'm going to check something really quick. Hmm. Use any special attack on it to reveal its true form, eh? Alright. Here you go, Geno Beam. Booyah! Hold Y for power. And... Reveal yourself! Mokuka. The <laughs> What the f- <laughs> What the- <laughs> A Mokura. Okay. Well, that makes a bit more sense, but- no, no, it doesn't make a bit more sense. It's a, it's a jiggling cloud with like a, a. What the hell kind of a face is that? That's like no emoticon you could ever create. Well, I'm sure someone has created an emoticon that looks like that. It was like a random, wiggly, smiling face. I don't. What the hell, Mokura? Where is it in this stupid list? I should probably link you to these lists someday. All right. Well, they have 620 HP, um, and no weakness, and they resist many things, including jump. Okay, apparently this thing can resist jump. I guess we'll just go ahead and use normal attacks on it. Static E, pain. Welcome to Painville. Population, you. Yeah. So I guess we'll just keep on pounding on this guy. He has, like... 600 plus HP apparently. Bolt. Ow. Ow. No. Stupid. Come back, Gino. I miss you. You have to come back. And. Perfect. Did that work? Did my action command work? Yeah, it did. Sweet. Yeah, you'll know if the action command works if you restore a full HP. There's probably some other sign to that you did it right, but I don't know what it is, because I don't pay close enough attention. And, and we'll do a group hug. Come on, guys, group hug. Formation. Perfect. Now we're all ready to take on the Mokura. And he's dead. Wow. Okay, well, that was really random. Kind of reminds me of the smiley guy, like the golden smiley thing in uh, Mother 3, you know? I, I swear, I had, like, so much trouble finding that thing on my first run-through of Mother 3. Because, like, even though it was my first run-through... Oh, damn, I don't have enough for the Ultra Jump. Well. Um. You know, let's just run away, so I, and I'll refill my Flower Power off screen. Out of battle. But, yeah, like, even though it was my first playthrough, I was using, like, uh, a Let's Play as a guide or something. And, um... That one enemy, that took me like five hours to find, I'm not even kidding, and I was just hell-bent on finding it. Why? I have no idea. Because it's not like you need to find it, but I just, I just couldn't resist. No, 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 shit. Now where am I? I don't know, let's just follow this guy. Hey, no, what? Um. Okay, this is completely unfair. I swear to God. Oh, dear. How long is this episode by now? Nine minutes, and we haven't even left the area that we started in. Oh my goodness. You know what? Let's just speed this up. And speed... Oh, that was a failure of an ultra jump if I ever saw one. But whatever. Speed montage. Go! Wow, that was... That was an ultra jump. What can you say? Oh, okay. Mario reached level 16. Is he going to learn anything? Of course not. Okay, so, um... 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16! That's the same as my age. 
Awesome, Mario. Okay, so was it this one? Come on. There you go. Stupid whirlpools. It's like they're sentient. They're running away from me. Okay, where does this path go? Hmm. Climb here. No thanks. And, oh, there's another formless if you want to take that guy on. Let's just follow the ant. Keep on following the ant for now. Why do they call it an ant? It's clearly a shogun. Right. I'm because I'm pretty sure that if you keep following these guys, you'll eventually reach something. Alright, finally, actually a good ultra jump that time. Bigger up. Oh no. No. Yeah, finally go ultra jump that time. Those past two that I did, like, right before the speed montage and during the speed montage, those just completely sucked. Alright, so, um, I'm just going to guess this one, because Mario's last one was HP. Hey, can you get back here? I ain't done with you. And I knew that there was something here worth, worth coming for. Alright, so we'll just go ahead and save really quick. Just to be on the safe side. On the save side, haha. -ha. And, ooh, star! Yes, perfect! Look, give me some XP. XP, please! Yay, I leveled up. And, bullshit. Okay, so Gino reached level 16. Doesn't learn anything, of course. And, um... Uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And who else leveled up? Bowser! Sweetness. Alright, so, um, let's give you this this time. Alright, hello. Oh, okay. I guess we're going here, down here now. I see something back here. Don't try to hide from me. You're looking for a star? I'll sell you one for 400 coins. Are you interested? Hell no! I just, oh, goodbye. Well, what if I want to have another buy a star later? What did you ever think about that? Stupid. I didn't even need a star there. Ooh, Balome Temple. This is the place that I remember of Land's End. This is like my favorite area in the entire game. Why? Because I like randomly stumbled upon it one time in like on my first playthrough of the game. And I would just like I don't even know. It's just so awesome. Something about it. Okay, what's this? Oh, coins. Lovely. Just like, like, look at these little, like, statue things. They're like, ugly mug things. I don't know. They're just awesome. That's all I can say. Um, yeah. But as you might be able to tell, this Balom Temple. Anyone remember that name, Balom? Well, I guess we'll go into that later. Alright, do you want to, your fortune told it'll cost 50 coins? Well, damn it. Fine. See the three faces on the wall? Hit them in any order and you'll receive your fortune. Alright, yeah, basically that's it. This is a mini game. And, um, well, it's not really a mini game. It's just like you can get different items from doing this. And here, I have a complete list of the combinations and what items they will give you, or rewards they will give you, because it's not always an item. If you, when you hit them, and you can just listen and take whichever one you want. Okay, so. Left, center, right will net you either a Yoshi's cookie or a mushroom. If you take left, right, center, you will net yourself a Yoshi's cookie and only a Yoshi's cookie. If you do center, left, right, you will get you will fight three chows, which are those random dog things. If you do center, right, left, you will also fight three chows or one shy away. So those are both good for experience, I guess. And finally, the best two in my opinion. If you do right, left, center, you can you have a two-thirds chance of getting a hundred coins and a one-third chance of getting a frog coin. And if you do um wait. Okay, yeah. And if you do right center left, then you get a hundred coins, just no matter what. So I'm gonna go ahead and do right left center since that's the, like the only one that gives you a chance of getting a frog coin which is really the ultimate reward every time okay if you proceed through the pipe the next door you'll find some rare items neat how very obscure of you 
I remember there being like a hidden chest up here at some point. I don't know. I'm, that's probably just me being stupid. But let's just go down the pipe. Hell yeah. And... What is it? Oh. Coins. Lovely. I kind of wanted a frog coin, but... I'll take what I can get. And apparently, those were all like big coins too, so that was 100 coins. But, let's head on through. Oh, what's this? Oh, more coins. Okay. I'll, I'll take it. Oh, jeez, that was a lot of money. How much money do I have right now, anyways? Uh, 779. Didn't I spend, like, 500 coins just a few episodes ago? How am I already that high? <laughs> that was a random... That was a poor choice of words. How am I that high? Uh, from all the mushrooms, of course. The yellow tile will get you to the next room. Your fortune determines which room you will arrive at. If you're lucky, you'll run into Bloom, and Monster Town will be just beyond him. Alright. Let's see. Sorry, I'm not expecting visitors past my bedtime. Um, too bad. Too bad is what I say. And, hello. Give me the key and I'll let you pass through. What the hell? Um, here, use it. No. <sighs> Stupid. Just taunting me with all those flowers and frog coins and items. I want them so much. But I have to resist my temptations and just try again. Alright, past your bedtime, stupid. I'm not exactly sure what this is dependent on. Don't tell me it's actually like dependent on time. Okay, stupid. This is just... Ah. Uh, come on. Mmm, I'm so hungry. Wish I had something to eat. Let's go. Let's see. It's something different. So, this has got to be good, right? It can only be good. Holy crap, 18 and a half minutes. Well, we'll find out what it, if it's good next time on Super Mario RPG. Thank you everyone for watching. And until next time, this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you. And good night. What the hell was that?